Hey everybody, welcome to Vibe with Velo. My name is Anthony Lusardi. I'm a developer advocate, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Axios on Velo, uh, leveraging our ability to install packages from NPM. So for those of you that aren't aware, uh, NPM, of course, is the common um, package manager that comes with Node. And with it, you can install tons of different libraries uh, in order to do all sorts of different things within your projects. And Axios is one of those libraries that I've always personally found very useful. Basically, it provides a very advanced set of features for querying HTTP REST APIs. And today, what I'm going to be showing you here is kind of how we would do it typically in Velo. And then I will show you how we will actually use Axios instead because it provides a more advanced set of features. So let's begin. Uh, first, what do I want to do here today? I've got my image of a line here. And though this line is very fierce and ferocious, I would actually like to be able to click a button and replace this image of the lion with another image. And in order to do that, I'm going to be querying an API that gives me uh, images of cats. It's actually called Cats as a Service. It's a free public open API and it's hilarious. So if we start off here, what I would normally do is I would come here, I'd select my button and I would go in and add my event handler. And then the way you would normally do this with Velo is you would use something like fetch because uh, we have a uh, Wix fetch, which is our typical library for fetching content from, from a REST API. So I would go up here, I would go ahead and I would import fetch as I already have. And then I'd probably do something like this. I would take, I would write out code and it would basically be this. And this is perfectly fine. This would work just as well for my use case, but there's a couple of things that I personally don't like about the fetch command here. Uh, number one are that there are query parameters here that just I am not a fan of. I'll actually increase the size of my font so you can see it a little better. Uh, I would actually really like to pass this in as an object instead. And I just can't do that right now. The other thing is that I don't really like passing in my method uh, via a config object. I would actually like to just do fetch.get. To me, that just makes more, more sense. And there's a bunch of other things with uh, Axios that, you know, provide a lot more advanced features than fetch, which is fairly basic, uh, which is great for, for many use cases. For, but for me personally, I would like to use NPM. Luckily with Velo, we actually can do that. So I'll zoom back out for a moment and I'll go ahead over to my site structure and then I'll click on the code files tab. I'll always look for these squiggly brackets and you'll find it. And then I'll click install package from NPM. And over here, you'll see that we list the top 10 packages by default of which Axios is one of them. And if you have any other package you want to install, you can just type it in the search up there. If it's not available, there's always a possibility to request it and get it added to, to NPM within Velo, but there are quite a lot available by default. Okay, so I did that. And now what I would do is I would go ahead and I'd, I'd import it just as I would import anything else. So import. Axios from Axios. And then I will write some code. I will write code very similar to this, but it'll be a bit of an improvement as we'll see. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little more so you can see this a little better. Let's comment that out because we won't be using fetch anymore. And we will instead be using kind of code that looks like this. And this is basically going to do the same thing before uh, as our fetch code up until the then. So like I said before, you know, I really didn't like having all my queries just in a line. It's kind of hard to edit. It's kind of hard to read. Uh, so Axios luckily lets me specify parameters as a config. So I went ahead and I, I did that. These are the exact same as up here. And then the other thing is obviously I didn't include this in the example code, but I'll actually handle the response and do something with it. And that's basically all the code. And now I can go ahead and publish my website. So I'll click publish. We'll head over to view the site. And if I come down here, 
and I go ahead and I click my little cat button, you'll see that I get a new cat served up. And that's just the ease of use that you have with Velo when it comes to installing NPM packages, making use of them. Uh, if you've ever used them before in other projects that aren't Velo related, it's going to be the exact same experience. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you very much and stay tuned for the next episode. All right, bye.